The truth behind normalizing trauma from a mental health discussion perspective. So have you realized how the normalization of trauma isn't from a place primarily of getting rid of the stigma around trauma or mental health as a whole? It's actually related to normalizing it as in just accepting that it exists, accepting that it is part of life and accepting that it is part of the overall condition that is the human experience. But what we have is we have a position whereby that mentality itself just prolongs the suffering and prolongs the trauma by normalizing it as if it is not able to be dealt with. And the fact that we are set up so that it appears that we're not able to deal with it, then we complete this cycle whereby we continually don't deal with it in order to justify why it's normal and why it exists. So the question then becomes, if we're normalizing it, but not from a place of this shouldn't be here, and what's normal is the fact that we have to ultimately deal with it, then the question then becomes, what do we do and why is that normal? And how do we technically come up with a new normal? Because the new normal is actually one where we sit and we deal with these issues and we sit and deal with these problems and we make sure that we're inquisitive and we make sure that we understand exactly how it works and functions in order to make it dysfunctional by dealing with it. Not having it as dysfunctional and then making that dysfunction function. And therefore we have a problem because normalizing everything just means that we prolong the suffering and we prolong the inevitable, which is just a decline over time due to the fact that what's not sustainable will always break down. And because it will always break down, it will then ultimately cause problems at some point because it needs to come up to be healed. So why do we wait for it to get that bad until we start doing something about it? But obviously the only things that we are perceived to have available to us are coping mechanisms and survival adaptations. And I don't know about you, but coping for my entire life with something or surviving with it on a day-to-day -day basis over a large period of time doesn't seem that appealing but yet that is what is the normalization. So the question is, how can we get access to exactly what we need to? And that then means that we have to bring a level of awareness to exactly what it is that we're doing, how we're functioning, how we're showing up, and where everything in our life that is misaligned is showing us where the trauma has been normalized. And then that becomes the starting point for us to then do the work moving forwards. But as always, until next time, trust the process, and it's bye for now.